So yeah, um, as you can see, a very interesting team up. We have Snorlax and uh, the Marshmallow Puff. Now, um, first of all, this Snorlax was found in the charity shop. Was one pounds. It was a local cancer research. I'm not quite sure what exactly its origins are. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can open up its belly, and then there is a gap. Yeah. So I'm gonna research this a bit more and see what it's all about. Um, I wondered if it was a McDonald's toy, but it's a bit big for a McDonald's toy. So I don't know, but. It's not an axis cool. You can put something in his head as well. So I reckon it had like discs that go in his head and come out here or something. Um, I've just had a thought. This is the type of thing you might see given away free on the Pokemon magazine. Wondering if it might be that. I'll do a little bit of research and find that out. But you know, I thought for a pound. Nice little Snorlax collectible. And Snorlax is a super Pokemon. It's got to be one of the best. Right, so... Marshmallow Man. Now, this was three pound in a charity shop in Swindon Town. Um, it's a very nicely made, pretty solid one um, of possibly one of the best villains in pop culture, I think. Um, yeah, it's got holes in his feet, so I'm not sure if something used to connect onto there, maybe. Um, I've found a date on this, and it's 2017, so it's not a vintage super vintage 2017 is technically vintage but it's not super vintage um ghostbuster um but yeah um that actually that would have been the year of the um all female ghostbuster movie so perhaps it came out um as a promotional figure for that so yeah but you know two nice little items there oh this is just a little um tip if you haven't tried it already selling i saw this this lot for a pound in a charity shop and what they are is open. they are watch straps spare watch straps so obviously for a smart watch the bits and pieces that you need for the sports smart smartwatches now a pound for the lot is actually good because a probably get around a pound on each one um i do recommend looking for reasonable bags of accessories things like watch straps um that kind of thing or even if you can get like a big pack of different bracelets reasonable they can be a nice little thing to sell on your online shop and of course they don't cost much to post so that is a benefit now we're on to the books there's usually some books and um, we're not disappointing on that front. So, first of all, two um, hobby books, so not to sell. Um, Point Horror. Um, yep, you may well know I love my Point Horror. So, read these as a teenager, and I'm collecting them and rereading them now. Because um, if you don't know, I'm definitely not a teenager anymore. So, Point Horror, April Fools. Um, Richie Tanisky, um Kuzek. It's no joke, it's murder. Now, I'm just going to put the other one aside for a sec. I don't remember this one, so I didn't read them all. Um, let's have a look at the blurb. Driving back from a party on April the 1st, Belinda, Frank and Hildy are involved in a gruesome accident. The people in the other car could never have survived the crash, so Frank insists that they scarper. After all, it wasn't really their fault. Two weeks later, Belinda is the only one who still feels guilty about the accident. Then the pranks start and her nightmare really begins. Someone must have witnessed or survived the crash and they're going to make Belinda suffer for what happened. April Fool's Day is over, but these jokes are for real. So there you go. That kind of premise. Um, guessing this was like early 90s. I will give this a read at some point. Yeah, it's 1990. Yeah, 1991. School lasted. Yeah. Um... Yes, um, so yeah, point over there, uh, this was in a um, books and media charity shop in Swindon. I've forgotten the name of it, but they have um, some, a really nice collection of books, records, DVDs, vi vi uh, videos. I'll have to have a look and check the name, but yeah, it, it's a really good one. Um, and they were only um, 50p each, I do believe. 
Um, we also have the Window Point Horror. Now, I don't remember this one, but I do remember the author, Carol Ellis. I think I read a lot by her. Uh, she's seen the killer. Has a killer seen her? It sounds like a Point Horror version of Rear Window. Um, it should have been the skiing holiday of a lifetime, but Jodie sprains her ankle and finds herself alone with nothing to do but gaze out of her cabin window. Gazing into the cabin of a beautiful neighbour, She's she witnesses the, the fight, the murder and the killer. Or does she? And if the murder is real, has the killer been watching Jodie? Hmm. So yeah, typical sort of point of horror story there. Uh, this one is a similar time, 1992, 1993. So yeah, classic point of horror for the collection there. Now, on to, um, oh no, before ones to sell, have we got any? Yes, we have one more for the personal collection. That's the James Herbert collection. Yes, a couple of years ago I got into James Herbert books and um, there's still quite a few I haven't yet read. Um, he did write quite a few books before he died a few years ago. Um, now this one is called The Secret of Crickley Hall. Now when I picked this up, I was like, ah, this is one I've been looking for. Um, but then I see on the front, it's got Saran Jones, the actress, um, who was in Corrie and many other things. Good actress, actually. And um, it's obviously clearly because there's a TV adaptation of The Secret of Crickley Hall, and it does say BBC. Now, um, I, I actually now remember that being advertised, but because I wasn't, into James Herbert at the time, I didn't make the connection, but now it's come back to me. Yes, I remember this being a drama, so I'm gonna perhaps read the book first and then I'm gonna look at the drama and see if it's good. Um, yeah, uh, this one says 199 on the back, but it wasn't, it was 50p. Um, yeah, so an interesting sounding story, and uh, yeah, I look forward to reading that one. I have liked all the James Herbert I've read so far. Right, now to sell, we have, first of all, unfortunately it's not dark enough to test this, but apparently this book glows up. Um, I think it's this bit that glows up. Oh no, maybe it's that bit, because that bit feels textured. But yeah, this is Darren Shane, a popular author, number one master of horror. Um, this one is called Slaughter. Mm. So it's like an evil coleslaw, Slaughter. Book of Three, The Demonator. Warning, seriously scary. Yeah, um, very popular books. Um, I have read them myself. Um, they are very good. Um, they put them in the sort of children's young adult category. Um, but yeah, I, I do think you could definitely enjoy them older too. Um, think about the concepts and the way they're written is very good. I can see why they're so popular. But that one I have put to sell is in nice condition. That was 50p. All the books um, today were 50p because they were from the two full pound section. Now, two other monster based books. I don't think I've come across these before. They have very nice shiny covers. Steve Feasley, uh, Changeling, Blood Wolf. So that's about a blood wolf. And this is Changeling. So maybe it's always about wolves because we also have this wolf. And it is Dark Moon. So, um, I was collecting things from a set and selling them as a set. But now I'm kind of doing... I might occasionally do a bundle of the same books in a set. But you seem to have more chance selling. And this does make sense um, if you do them as individuals. So, one listing, but let people choose what title they want. Because, um, obviously, people try and um, finish collections and that kind of thing. So, it's... Um, can be a good way to do that and then you can always throw in the multi buy offer as well to further allure your potential customers um oh i bought this uh, so many times i bought it a long time ago for my own personal collection but this is um another one to sell it always sells it's such a popular book the house on cold hill nice condition one very highly recommended if you like a ghost story and haven't read it. And the last one for today is this. It is Harry Potter Hardback. Um, so it's Harry Potter and the uh, Cursed Child Parts 1 and 2. This has got special rehearsal edition script. So even though J.K. Rowling has been J.K. Rowling, unfortunately, for many, many years. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, people are still buying the books they are still selling when i get them on ebay and you know and certainly uh should we say like the art anyway um and uh yeah 
this one is what's the date on this one i can't actually see the date that's very frustrating no i can't see the date at all that's really weird why is there no date probably find it after but yeah i know it came out a few years ago anyway uh it's not signed or anything um always check to see if the books are signed uh because the other day uh what was it i got that was signed um oh christy lacy um there's a last dragon chronicles i believe the series is called one of the books picked up from charity shop was signed by him so um that may put the value up slightly when selling it it usually does but yeah that's all for today um let me know what you think of the items i got from my most recent charity shop pickup and if you got any yourself uh, recently it'd be interesting to know